To write the name for PbOH2, first we need to recognize that OH here, this is a polyatomic ion. When OH is bonded to a metal, it's called the hydroxide ion. We have two hydroxide ions. We also have lead, which is a metal. It's a transition metal, and we're going to have to take that into account when we write the name for PbOH2. So first, we write the name for the metal. That's Pb, which is just lead. Next, we write the name for the polyatomic ion. That's the hydroxide ion, OH. So we just write hydroxide. At this point, we have lead hydroxide as the name for PbOH2. We said lead is a transition metal. So we need to figure the charge out for Pb, for the lead here, and write that in the name. We know the hydroxide ion, the whole thing, is 1 minus. And we have two of them. So 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. The lead has to be 2 plus. To show that in the name, we put a Roman numeral 2 in parentheses. So the name for PbOH2 is lead 2 hydroxide. If you were given this name and asked to write the formula for lead 2 hydroxide, you'd know the lead has to be 2 plus, and therefore you'll need two of these hydroxide ions because each one's 1 minus. So the charge will balance out. This is Dr. B with the name for PbOH2, lead 2 hydroxide. Thanks for watching.